Hello, this is quick tutorial on how to get started on Xilinx Reward. So I'll walk you through in this tutorial series, how do you create a project? And then we'll cover how do you simulate a project? And then we'll in the end, we'll cover how do you actually program your boards? So let's get started. So first of all, you can see on your computers, these two folders, these two programs. So you'll go ahead and click uh, double click Vivado 2020.1. So if you click it, then you'll see this screen. So let's create a, a project. So you'll click create project and uh, you will see this uh, wizard which will guide you through the procedure. So let's click next and you'll here you'll name your project. So let's call it uh, our test and gate. And here you will choose the project location. So one thing very important here is that your project location, uh, this directory should not have a space in the in the file in the in the name. So you want to make sure that okay, there's no space. Okay, then click the select the RTL project that we are going to do. I explore here and we'll uh, we'll cover the details of the other things later okay so here you will add the sources so sources are basically the modules that you create uh, that you have already created in other labs as well for example you created a module for the end gate you created a module for the adder so those are the sources that we are going to add here so for this video we are going to simply create our our module so module for the end gate so you can uh, just place the co code here as well and but uh, in this tutorial i'm going to show you that how can you write the code into the verilog uh, from the very beginning so you'll select your language here so we are covering the verilog so then you'll name it so let's call it my end gate and so my Gate. So let's keep it simple. Let's call it my hint. Okay. So you'll say click OK and then click Next. And this asks for any constraint file that we are going to cover in the next in the third tutorial. And here, this is very important that you are going to select what board you are going to use. So we have a basis three boards. So um, so, so you can select your basis three board by uh, by following these uh, settings. So, um, so let's first select the category as a general purpose and the family. So the uh, the uh, FPGA that we have on the basis three is Artix Seven, belongs to the Artix Seven family of the Xilinx. So you'll select the Artix Seven, and in the package you'll select CPG two three six, and in the speed you'll select minus one. So in, in, if you put these filters, then you'll see the three options. So the our FPGA board uh, or the chip that is on our FPGA board is, is uh, XC7A35TCPG236-1, this one, which is second one. So let's click this, select this one and click next. So this gives you the summary that what's uh, in our project. So click finish, and this is going to set up the project environment for us. Okay, so it's going to ask um, what's in your, um, uh, what are your inputs and outputs to your end gate. So let's, you can define it into the code as well, and you can also write here as well. So let's go ahead and write it over here. So let's call one input as our switch one, and second input as a switch two switch to and the third input is so let's we want to let's suppose we want to connect it to the output to the led so let's call it led again this is an output and as i said that you can i'll show you that how can you redefine it in your modules as well so okay so once you so we are assuming what we are going to do is that we have a two inputs to the end gate and we have one output that is driving the led okay so this will create a source file uh, for us. So let's now see 
what do we have here? So we have a lot of things uh, here. So let's focus on this window, which says sources. So sources is basically where your all module files will be. So if you see, there are uh, different types of the categories here. So the important ones are the design sources for now, where you, where you, will, uh, where you will see your uh, very log source files. And second important thing is the simulation sources where you put the test bench file that you also have created some test benches. So currently we haven't created the simulation source, but we will create in the next video. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, create our first design source, which is the end gate module. So uh, as we said that the um, uh, you can you can basically uh, modify the inputs and outputs over here as well. So as you do in the Verilog, so so you can see that uh, this uh, Vivado has basically created a blank module for us whose inputs are input as switch one and switch two and output as LED. So now we want is we want to implement the function the behavior into it. So in this case, it's very simple. We'll just want to implement an end gate. So we'll say end let's name the ic as a u1 like the component is a u1 and we'll connect and we'll follow the convention that you will first out then your switch one then switch two that's it so our this is our end gate and this is all ready right so um if you now uh so this is basically uh, saved and if you go to your uh, rtl analysis and if you run the uh, elaborated design then this the, the cool feature of the vivado is that this is actually going to show you that uh, what logic that you have implemented so let's wait for this to uh, complete the processes so once it is done it will show the uh, schematic that uh, we have generated for now so what we expect here is the end gate that is that we have implemented. Okay, so so if you go to the RTL analysis and click schematic, aha, that shows we have uh, two switches and one LED and there's an end gate connected. So this is what the your uh, how do you create the design sources into in your Vivado. So in the next video. Um, we are going to cover how do you create a test bench and actually uh, simulate your modules that we have been doing on the EDA playground. Okay, thank you.